Okay, welcome back uh, to the uh, second part of the day's activities. Um, today we're going to give you a brief uh, uh, description of uh, NCSA resources going forward. After that, I'd like to ask Bill Kramer, again the director and principal investigator for the Blue Waters Project to address this. Bill. Thank you, Scott. Um, uh, so uh, the uh, biggest change uh, recently is that about two weeks ago, uh, we announced that Blue Waters will continue operation for another year to the end of 2020. Uh, but it will be operating in a somewhat different mode than what we've been doing in the past. So up until the end of 2019, uh, the funding for Blue Waters is coming from the National Science Foundation, and it's a track one uh, system that does broad science. Uh, and uh, the funding that's coming uh, for the following year, 2020, is uh, from a different agency uh, in cooperation with the NSF. And that agency is interested in geospatial information, uh, mapping, a variety of other, other things. It's the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. Um, so with that, uh, the uh, national uh, access for Blue Waters will change, and the criteria will be much more specific to the interest of the NGA. Uh, we have had some pr a number of projects that are related to that already, uh, the Autic Dam project and, and the Antarctic Rima project and uh, studies of, of uh, topology in New Zealand and in the United States are all things that, that are uh, kind of uh, aligned with what's uh, going to be going on. Uh, the operational period for Blue Waters would be mostly uh, the largest user, I'm sure, is going to be the, uh, the mapping uh, using satellite uh, stereo data to, to do high precision mapping throughout the world. Uh, but then there'll be other projects. We don't have that criteria defined yet, um, uh, but uh, that will be coming out in the next month or so in terms of, of uh, uh, how, to, how to submit proposals for uh, this, that phase of, of Blue Waters, the, the uh, NGA phase of Blue Waters. That will be the largest resource that uh, Illinois has still uh, and, and for sharing, although not quite as broad as it was before. Uh, for, uh, we also have a share of that resource, about 10%, going to uh, research at the University of Illinois, uh, as we had been doing in the past, where we're about 7% of the, the uh, resources have been going to the university uh, research community here at UIUC. Uh, Scott, are there other resources that you want me to mention? So, okay, uh, then uh, there, and uh, uh, we uh, are talking about uh, whether the kind of the general educational program that's a national program for us will continue or whether it will not. That's something we have to work out with uh, our new sponsorship as well. Uh, so with that, are there any questions anybody has uh, out in the uh, uh, virtual world? All right, well, thank you very much.